Okay, welcome to the second video for project number two. This is the Excel formulas and functions. Okay, we're going to start with step number four. What we have to do is create a formula in cell G5 to calculate the gross pay based on the regular and overtime pay for the first employee. So to do this, we click in cell G5, and we can just put an equal sign there. And we want to calculate gross pay, so that's E5, regular pay, plus, we do the plus sign, and we want overtime pay, F5. We just hit enter, and that calculates the gross pay. Okay, now on to step 5. We need to calculate taxable pay. So we're going to create a formula. We're going to highlight cell H5, taxable pay, and create a formula. So we'll multiply the number of dependents by the deduction per dependent stored in cell B24. Cell B24 is right here. Deduction per dependent, $50. and then subtract that from the gross pay. We have to use relative and absolute cell references appropriately. So what I'm going to do is put an equal sign in there. And first, what I need to do is multiply the number of dependents by the deduction per dependent. So what we can do is put a parenthesis, because it's a two-part equation. Cell B5 is the number of dependents. So I'm going to click on that, B5. I'm going to multiply that by cell B24, which is deduction per dependent. And that's going to be an absolute reference, because as we copy it down for the other employees, we don't want the deduction per dependent, cell B24, to, to move anywhere. We want to lock the row and the column. So we highlight that and we put the cursor in there and function F4 and then we close a parenthesis okay so that calculates the number of dependents times the deduction per dependent what we need to take is that value and subtract it from the gross pay. So gross pay is going to come first. We take the gross pay here and we go s we subtract it. Press enter and it c calculates for the first employee taxable pay of $417,040. Okay, step 6 is a little bit tricky. What we're going to do is use a VLOOKUP function in cell I5, right here, to identify and calculate the federal tax withholding. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this step by step. I want to highlight the cell I5, and on the Formulas tab, in the Function Library, I want to insert a function. Now we can just type it up here, let's see, VLOOKUP, or if you have it um, already you can locate it there, right over here. You can do it that way, or just type V lookup and hit go. And it's going to locate V lookup from the database. Click OK. So, what we have is the function arguments. We need a lookup value, a table array, column index number, and a range lookup. So basically what the VLOOKUP function does is it looks up the employee's taxable pay. So let me just move this over a little bit. So it looks up their taxable pay, which is, sorry, taxable pay, and it compares it to this table, taxable pay. Then what it's supposed to do is return a tax rate. 
and the tax rate would be the federal withholding tax, I believe. Okay, one moment, please. Okay, I'm going to try that again, sorry. Click on taxable pay, and then insert a function. We want VLOOKUP, click OK. So we need to find the lookup value. The lookup value will be H5, in this case. Let me move this over. So H5 is oh wait one moment sorry okay I had to go back a little bit but don't forget to save so save your work periodically in case you make a mistake like I did so what we have to do is we have the taxable pay here we need to insert a function in cell I5 so VLOOKUP okay Okay, to continue, what we have to do for the lookup value, we have to use cell H5 because that's the value we want to look up. We want to look up H5, which is Abrams, the first employee's tax will pay. We click on that cell, H5. Now, next is the table array. That's the table that we want to compare that value to. So we scroll down a little bit, and the table array should be D21 to E25. D21 to E25. So it's all of these values in here. D21 to E25. Now, because we want to copy eventually this formula down for all the other employees, we need to make this an absolute reference. Because as we move to the other employees, we don't want these values in this table to move. We want to lock the columns and we want to lock the rows. So we go into table array here and we go on to D21 and we press function F4. That makes that an absolute reference and then E25. So we're locking basically that whole table. Okay, then we move on. Next is the column index number. So what we want that to be is 2 because the column number in the table array from which the matching value should be returned. So if you look over here, when we compare our result up there to the taxable pay, we want a tax rate to be returned. So if this is the first column, then this should be the second column. So the column index number should be 2. As you can see, it's a 25 so based on his pay of 417 it's right in this range it's not quite 450 if he made 450 then he'd be taxed 28 percent it's a little under so uh, the tax rates at 25 percent and range lookup uh, it's not necessarily because we basically want to find an exact match so that's false by default. Actually, wait, true, it says range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match in the first column, sorted in ascending order. True or omitted, find exact match false. So we don't have to put anything there. We click OK and it comes up with 25. Now that almost answers the question, but what we need to do in addition to that is multiply the function results by taxable pay. So what we've basically done is use the VLOOKUP function and we've calculated the federal tax withholding, the percentage. We've compared the value up here 
which is taxable pay, to this taxable pay table and return 25%, which is here. But that's not the actual withholding, that's just the percentage. That's the tax rate. So in order to calculate the actual federal tax withholding in dollars, we need to multiply the function results by the taxable pay. So we have the function right there. And we want to multiply that. Just add a multiply that by taxable pay, which is here. We hit enter. And it's 10435, which is correct. Okay, now that we finished step six, we need to move on to step seven. And the video is only 15 minutes long, so I kind of got to hurry through this. I got to hurry through a few more steps. So FICA is actually not too hard to compute, and net pay isn't either. So what we do is we highlight FICA, the cell for the first employee, which is J5. And we're going to base it on gross pay and the FICA rate, which is stored in cell B23. So all we have to do is press equal, equal sign. And G5 is the gross pay. And we want to multiply that by cell B23, which is the FICA rate right here. Since the FICA rate is from a table, a reference table, and we want it to be locked for all the other employees, we need to make it an absolute reference. So function F4, absolute reference, and we hit enter. It calculates um, a, withhold, a tax of 39.58, which is correct. Okay, now for net pay, we highlight cell K5 for the first employee, and net pay pay is simply. Let's see, we highlight the cell equals. What we're going to do is subtract the taxes, which are the federal tax withholding and FICA, from the gross pay, which is over here. Just for the first employee, so cell G5. the gross pay, we do subtract, and then we're going to add these two with tax withholding. So we put parentheses and we go I5, which is a federal tax withholding, plus, because we want to add those together, J5, which is a FICA. And we hit enter. And that yields a net pay of 373.46.89. We're going to convert these two dollar values later um, in the formatting, but that should be correct. Okay, what we want to do now is save, control save. And in step nine, what we need to do really quickly is copy the formulas in range E5 to K5 to the range. E6 to K16. So what we can do is just highlight that and then drag it down. And it should work. As you can see, I just highlighted that first row for the first employee. And then in the corner, I clicked that little box and I just dragged it down over the range and all the values calculated out. So that's the end of step number nine. In the next video, we'll continue on uh, from step 10. Thank you.